In a faraway land that's over the rainbow and second left past the gasworks is the home of Super Ted and Eric. On the face of it, Super Ted doesn't look very super, even if his faithful companion Eric does look pretty well uh, Ericaceous. If there's one big thing in Eric's life, it's comics. He's an 11 plus, O level, A level, BA and MA in practical and applied comics. Ted's the intellectual one though. At the moment he's checking up on the mean orbital velocity of the moon so that he can tell Eric. Of course Eric won't know what he's talking about either. And in any case, he's too busy with the one big thing in his life. That's if he's not too busy with the other big thing in his life, sweets. He always keeps them in his left hand trouser pocket. Uh, no, his, his right hand trouser bit. No, uh, ah, his favorite. Multicolored tooth rotters, fattening too, which is what he doesn't need any of. No two ways about it, Eric is fat and clumsy. Oh. Oh, Super Ted, I'm so sorry, let me... Ooh. Very good things for helping you to see stars at telescopes. Super Ted is far from pleased. He hates losing his dignity. Besides, he's got ringing in his ears. Oh no, it's the telephone. It'll be the Astronomer Royal asking for a bit of advice again. Hello, Edward here. <laughs> Hello. It's King Wilberforce. I need your help. Okay, be right there. Who oh, crumbs? Not another thrilling adventure. Come on, let's go. Another job. Eric hates adventures. No sweets, no comics, and all that exercise. Ah, the step up transformer. It transforms every day, Edward, to. Shazam! Super Ted! And with one mighty spring, he's away! And now it's Eric's turn. Uh, Shazegs. Oh no, that's not right. Uh, Shazoodles. Oh crumbs. Shazek is like. What's the words? Shazakovich! Shazam! Hooray! Now to fly with Super Ted. Stand by for takeoff. Oh dear. Too many sweets. Come on! Super Ted, Super Ted, Super Super Ted, making a name in the air. Go fly now, goodbye now. Destination anywhere. Super Ted, fly, take me with you. Super Ted's no one like you know. Super Ted, try. Can you do it? Super Ted, take me wherever you go. Super Ted, fly, take me with you. Super Ted's no one like you know. Super Ted, try. Can you do it? Super Ted... Moments later, the faithful pair have the royal palace in sight. Poor old King Wilberforce is troubled and anxious. Any news of Super Ted? Well, sir, as I see it... But help is at hand as Super Ted swoops in, closely followed by... <clears throat> by... <coughs> ah, there he is. An almost perfect 27-point landing. I asked you to come, Bibi. I asked you to come, Bibi. Bi bi we asked you to come because our existence is being rendered untenable by that tyrannical rodent Krogan, said the Duchess. And we are desirous that you exact retribution thereof. Hmm? Uh, that big rotten mouse Grogan's making life miserable and she wants you to duff him up, fathers. Hacky thump. Grogan, the devil mouse. A worthy enemy for the lion-hearted bear. The name alone sends the Duchess into another two laps of sheer panic, the King into the depths of despair, and Sir Bludgeon back into his helmet. And hark! From far away, the terrifying roar of Grogan, the devil mouse. Squeak! Meanwhile, in another part of the cheesedom, a kingdom, a hideous light flickers within the gloomy walls of Castle Gorgonzola. A shadow stretches its sinister length across the floor, lengthens and becomes Grogan, the outcast Duke of Camembert who seeks to rule the world. He speaks. But of course no one can understand a word he says, which is why he's always so bad-tempered. In the dungeons of Castle Gorgonzola, Grogan has a secret weapon. 
At a word from him, it switches on. At a shout from him, it switches on. Thank you. Now for the deadly computer which will put Wilberforce and all his kingdom under Grogan's power. Good open! <sighs> Trouble is, he will use all these army surplus bits and pieces. <laughs> now Grogan can begin the evil process that will make him ruler of the world. <laughs> At the flick of a switch, the deadly device starts to invent all powerful instruments of war. A robot to obey its master's evil will. Worse still, the flickering screen begins to form into a money-eating dragon ready to devour Wilberforce's riches down to the last premium bond. But Grogan's sinister mind has even nastier ideas in store. The Yuckmobile, with ray unit paralyzer, bad weather attachment, diabolical diagonalizer, everything a villain needs to make babies scream and fathers turn pale. <laughs> and lo, the real thing, built in an instant and fitted with, oh no, the deadly dance demon. Surely no power on earth can resist him now as he sets off to dance Wilberforce and all his subjects into the ground. Squeak! Meanwhile, back at the palace, Super Ted's super sensitive ears have heard Grogan coming. says Grogan with a snarl and helpless to resist they all begin to dance all that is but Super Ted <laughs> my god soon Super Ted has seen enough he gives one terrible roar and steps forward to defy the dangers of the military two-step and Grogan's worst. I won't dance. You can't make me, says our hero. Grogan turns on full power, but all to no avail. The terrible force of the monstrous machine has backfired, and Grogan disappears into the clouds via the spare bedroom. The devil mouse is defeated, and once again the kingdom is safe. Whoa, 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 wonderful. Another victory for our faithful friends, for Eric and for Super Ted! Super Ted, Super Ted!